through to Jason. <laughs> I, we're, we're I like people who haven't done that. Yeah, yeah. What should everybody shut up about? Uh, uh, South End United. Uh, no, no, that's so <laughs> No, it's his, it's his favourite uh, soccer team. Plus, no one talks about them, so yeah. it's no yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. not everyone. What should people shut up about? Uh, like people in general, or us as a... <laughs> I'm going to say... Charlie Sheen. I don't know. Yeah, Charlie yeah. Sheen's a good one. Uh, maybe Adele. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, I'm not, nothing, like nothing, nothing, wrong with, nothing wrong with her. She's just... She's oversaturated? Been, she's oversaturated the market right now. And yeah. Yeah. maybe someone else needs to uh, bring out something. Like Amy yeah. Winehouse. Mm. <laughs> like the Boxer Rebellion. Yeah, exactly. What's your idea of a perfect Sunday? Um, wake uh, up late. Bacon sandwich for me. Should we do it individually? Bacon sandwich, mm, some sweet loving, and then uh, not so late, you know, with with a lady, my wife probably, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and then um, yeah, just uh, if it's a nice day, maybe a walk in the park. What about you nice. guys? Um, go to a movie maybe. Yeah. If I'm in the states, I'll watch football. Football. Yeah. I'm very easily pleased, and I will get up. I'll get up late. I won't get dressed for quite a while, yeah. uh, and I'll, I'll watch a lot of sport uh, and get dressed probably uh, after the second sporting event I watch on telly. And then in the evening, I'll probably have some sweet loving as well. Yeah. Uh, and I'll eat at some stage. Um, it'll be fine, like the finest cheeses ever. Chutneys. Cheeses for Sundays. It could be a what's your favourite Sunday like, as in. Chocolate Sunday. I don't think that's what you meant. Oh, I know, I'm just saying. No. Could be. <coughs> what did your mom wish you? Oh, that's what I was yeah. Just get up late. <laughs> 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 you know, I like to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, go for a run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Next yeah. question. High, save high a, protein breakfast. Save a cat from a tree. Yeah, maybe have a swim at lunchtime and then ride a bike in the afternoon. Um, gym then in the evening. Gym in the evening. Yeah. Uh, go to bed, do it again on Monday. Name something you consider a mind-altering work of art. It could be any media, but not your own. Mind-altering work of art. Uh, not our own. Oh, first cut the options down. I like abstract <coughs> expressionist art. You know, um, Cy Twombly, Tapia's. Yeah. Yeah, that sort I always of stuff. Think That's mind-altering. Yeah. Inspirational. Michelle Gondry is always pretty. Hmm. I mean, musically, Radiohead are always just that next level up. They can really kind of create something where you're like, wow, that's awesome. That's no. 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 I remember like when I went to the Vatican, you know, and uh, all the, the massive amount of attention to detail kind of Have you been to blew, Venice? blew me away in there. No, I haven't been to Venice. There's like kind of stuff like that in Venice as well. Um, yeah, that was pretty pretty amazing, you know, more amazing than pretty much any album I've ever listened to, I suppose. What do you think of when you think of Canada? I think it's nice space. I just think a lot of space here. I mean, See, I, 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 we live I, in England and it's kind of it's kind of dense. It it boggles my mind to think of how much distance there is. Uh, in Canada, I always also think of people, the people of Canada, being very relaxed. They seem to have a good kind of balance. There's the friends we have that are they're quite relaxed people. But yeah, I grew up and I was like the only person in Tennessee that played ice hockey. So I grew up thinking of ice hockey. It's really cliche now, but um, I uh, the Blue I don't Jays. Know, yeah, like I think of like just the like greenery. Sadly, if we're talking about sport, I think of Ben Johnson, I'm afraid. It was a pretty big deal. Wasn't, um, <coughs> who was the tennis player that was English, but, or he's Canadian? Greg Rosetsky. Greg Rosetsky. Yeah. No, yeah. no one wanted him. He was he only going to be, <laughs> he was only going to be British if he won. <coughs> uh, which he didn't really, so I think he was still Canadian. <laughs> last time I checked. <laughs> okay, last one. Um, who would be your uh, ideal dinner guest, living or dead, and what would you serve them? 
Keith oh. Moon. Oh. Not alcohol. Okay. Uppers and downers. Yes, you would. Uh, <laughs> would you? Yeah, I just. I think uh, he'd bring his own. Just to, for the. Uh, I couldn't afford to feed him alcohol. Yeah. No, it would just be a good conversation, I think. Literally, funny enough, I watched his last interview on YouTube last night. Mm. Very, very scary. Oh, really? But yeah. Was it the one with Pete Townsend? Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely have Keith Moon over for, for yeah. dinner. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have Jesus over and um, serve him some water and see what he could do with it. Yeah, that's a good yeah, that's answer. A good one, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cheap that's night. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go with... Who would I go with? Um, I don't know, like Al Capone or someone like that. What? See, see what they're like. See if they're an absolute ass. I'm sure he was. Yeah, so he uh, I'm watching The Sopranos, so he's probably one of those kind of guys. Yeah. yeah. I haven't got one. I was say, I haven't got names. <laughs> all, all of my ones would be like too political and weird. I think. He'd have me over. Like JFK. He never has me over. You'd have me yeah, over. Yeah, and I'd feed you biscuits. Body shop biscuits. Okay. 